We are lucky we came at the feeding hour. Otherwise, we may not have had the chance to see the new mother chimp here at the Ngamba Chimpanzee Sanctuary. But still, we had to wait anxiously until the mother came out. The mother seems to have noticed that there were visitors around and she jealously guarded her baby. We could not see the baby until after some time as she continued feeding. <laughs> she then relaxed a little. This was a surprised mother. She conceived even when she had been given an implant to avoid conception. What was what happens in humans, at times the, they fail. But what we realize is that the batch that we got this time had a lot of uh, failures. We tried control, but uh, like it happens in humans, these are our closest relatives. So also in uh, chimpanzees, the implants fail. And uh, when they fail, we have no other choice but to welcome uh, the baby. <laughs> The 29 female chimpanzees here are given implants to avoid a population explosion at the Ngamba Island Chimpanzee Sanctuary, which is already under pressure. The original capacity of the sanctuary was for two chimps, but it is now home to 49 chimps. We have increased. That means we have to look for more funds, we have to uh, ask more uh, visitors to come and uh, visit so they can pay the entrance fees. And that's the money that goes caring for chimpanzees. In this feeding area, there are over 40 chimps. Surprise and her little one have been isolated because if they are to bring them here at that age, she might be harmed. Naturally, an expectant chimpanzee will hide from the race for at least a month before it delivers to protect its young one. This mother was put in this isolation center. Chimpanzees are so territorial and uh, so when they see an infant, in their group that has not been part of them, uh, they tend to fight for that infant. For some of them, like the females, everyone wants to take care of the baby. So in the process of fighting for the baby, they can easily kill. So we made sure we gave her enough exercise, we fed her very well, and uh, limited her time of being born. For example, we would give her some uh, papers, spend time looking at pictures, would give her some uh, puzzles. It would take time to go through those puzzles. Why? Um, because we needed to occupy her brain. She was alone at that time in the holding facility. So we needed to have her brain put at work all the time. It's not common that a mother chimp breastfeeds its young one here. So this one had no idea that the baby had to feed. A supporter from the community and she had to demonstrate. She has the baby. And she came and breastfeed her own baby from nearby the holding. So the chimpanzee, who is a surprise, had to observe the other human mother feeding. And then surprise also started feeding her own baby. Now investigations are underway to establish the best implant the female chimps can use so that the sanctuary does not get more surprise babies like baby surprise. Irene Namialo, NTV.